Are you looking to turn on nitric oxide like a flick of a switch? Well, that possibly isn't going to happen, but maybe it will in just one week if you follow the recommendations I'm about to give you about nitric oxide boosting foods. Before we get into that though, two things. One is make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get the latest updates about health, wellness, nitric oxide as well. And stay tuned to the end because I have a free gift for you that you are going to want to use. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. Okay, so first of all, let's take a little step back. What is nitric oxide? Nitric oxide is a gas, it's made in the body, it has many uses, including it helps dilate blood vessels, so it can help um, increase the amount of nutrients delivered to muscles, and it can help endurance in all kinds of areas and get things, well, get all muscles pumping hard. But it's also very good for the brain, both in delivering more oxygen, plus it also helps signaling chemicals in the brain, it actually allows neurons to communicate better. It also has a role in our immune system and a role in bringing down inflammation. And this is why it's so important to control, because there's a form of nitric oxide called endothelial nitric oxide, and there's also what's called inducible nitric oxide. The inducible one helps with inflammation, the inflammatory process, but it can go out of control and you don't want too much of it. And this is why later on we're going to get into control and the nutrients, well, the foods that help you control nitric oxide as well as give you the endothelial stuff, which is what you're after. So in the previous video, um, I'll put a link here, I, did, I spoke about the supplements that you can use. And at the end of it, I hinted that actually you really are better off actually going down the food route and then using supplements if you really need. Now, one of the supplements I spoke about was arginine. And where do you find arginine? You find arginine, it's a protein, and you find it in meats, especially shellfish, crustaceans, chock, chock full of arginine. But my favorite source of arginine is something like walnuts, because walnuts have other things in there that are great for the heart as well. So meat, shellfish, walnuts, there are other things, there are other seeds like uh, poppy seeds, I think, as well, and sunflower seeds as well have arginine in. Then the next thing we spoke about was L-citrulline, which is a really important molecule because unlike arginine, which when it comes into the body can get converted into lots of different things, L-citrulline goes through liver through the liver and it stays in the bloodstream ready to be converted to arginine at any point which can then be converted to nitric oxide and a great source of l-citrulline is watermelon but also cucumber and in the free gift that you can get at the end i'm going to tell you how to prepare these things properly as well now the next thing which wasn't mentioned in supplements because you don't find this in supplement form is nitrates and nitrates, you might think nitrates, that sounds a little bit like nitric oxide. And in fact, you need to make, you make nitric oxide from nitrates. And nitrates, the best way to get, to get your, your nitric oxide levels boosted is to just have more nitrates in your diet. And that comes in the form of foods. And the best food for that is in England, it's called rocket, um, it's a leaf. Um, in America, it's called arugula. It's a spicy, sort of bittery leaf, uh, salad leaf. You need lots of it though. So you need at least two to 400 grams a day for seven days, okay, to make a big difference. But also you can use things like beetroot, beetroot juice, beet leaves, spinach leaves, watercress leaves, parsley. But you want lots every single day for about a week and it will make a noticeable difference. Now I'm going to step into something that you possibly haven't heard at all before, and I'm actually going to talk briefly about another supplement. And that supplement is called Fitnox. And it was made by a company that originally investigated more um, dairy products um, called Glam Glamvia or Glambia. And Fitnox is a combination of three things, and they found out that they could actually boost nitric oxide with these three ingredients better than the arginine. Um, and citrulline uh, 
supplements because the thing about arginine and citrulline they're only going to restore nitric oxide to normal levels but these substances can actually boost it a little bit beyond normal and these three substances combined are pomegranate and I've actually done a separate video on pomegranate because it's so amazingly good for you and I'll put a link to it around here somewhere maybe I'll put it here um, I'll put a link to it so that you can actually go and find out more about pomegranate because it helps clean the arteries it's very good for your body in so many ways but one of the things it does is it helps improve the synthesis of nitric oxide now the next thing in this powerful compound is something called moringa leaf now moringa leaf again it's something that i could do an entire other video on it's moringa is a tree that it's native to i think africa it grows in really arid conditions it could actually help solve a lot of um, starvation and food problems because it's so nutritious moringa now moringa isn't high in nitrates but it's got chemicals and nutrients in it that help control nitric oxide so it can help decrease the inflammatory form and increase the endothelial kind and then the third thing is something called black ginger it looks like ordinary ginger root but when you cut it open it's like dark dark purple almost black and this again it's not because it's full of nitrates it's not full of arginine not full of citrulline it's got a chemical in it that is very similar uh, it works in a similar way to viagra because i don't know if you know this but one of the ways that viagra works is working on the way that um, basically um, nitric oxide is released and sort of maintained basically and so black ginger has something in it that works similar to viagra on in the way that basically helps you preserve um, the enzyme that allows you to release and make nitric oxide so very 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 powerful but there's something else that also works in this now remember at the beginning i told you that nitric oxide is involved in the immune system and also bringing down inflammation so if there's something you could take that also helps the immune system it also helps bring down inflammation via various different pathways plus it also has an effect on improving nitric oxide one single thing does all of this and it also has a, a reaction in a similar way to the viagra black ginger it's something called Ganoderma lucidum it's a medicinal chinese mushroom it's best heated up i drink it in teas and coffees and hot chocolates as well if you want to know more about that then reach out to this via the free link um, so what's next then so what is next is basically well now you've actually got all the things going into your body to make nitric oxide and you want to release it from where it's stored in your body and into your blood vessels to get to work so that's why i recommend you do the nitric oxide boosting exercises because again if you don't actually do things to create blood vessels and pathways for the blood to flow in your body it doesn't matter about what you eat nitric oxide wise you've actually got to do things to actually get more blood vessels made so watch the nitric oxide releasing exercise videos i'll put a link to that here as well so what's the free gift the free gift is basically the nitric oxide diet pdf that i've put together putting together sort of how much you need to take things to make a meaningful difference um, and some smoothie ideas some recipe ideas as well so you can get loads of nitric oxide boosting foods all of these things in your body and i'll also put links as to where you can get the ganoderma the best form because the problem with ganoderma there were 17 different ganoderma lucidum pills also known as the reishi mushroom there were 17 different brands tested only one of them actually contained reishi and um, so i'm going to be telling you about the particular brand that i use that definitely contains the active ingredient you need which is reishi um, so look out for a link to that i'll put it here and i'll also make sure that it's in the description of the video beneath so subscribe to the channel take me up on the on the uh, free gift and let me know in the comments below how you're doing with all of this and what you liked and what you'd like to like like what you'd like to learn more about be well be fantastic be magnificently healthy